their homes. Thank you. Gracias, Sean Murphy. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. One minute to Mr. Stadler. President, I can agree entirely with the uh, previous speaker. It seems like there are no rules anymore, and any rules that exist are simply broken. I mean, nobody is actually following EU primary law. I think that's the signal that we're constantly sending out. Whether we're talking about the bottles for uh, uh, olive oil or whatever, it's, it seems so that we're setting rules for everything that doesn't matter, but not where it does matter. We haven't got any proper separation. Uh, we haven't got any proper regulation for the banking sector. We haven't got any limitations. As uh, uh, Mr. Bro Bloom said earlier, it seems that the banks have a, a, a basically a, a, a monopoly on uh, creating money. It's not the ECB, it's the banks. All of this is simply a smokescreen for the direct financing that Mario Monti and uh, Mariano Rojoy uh, called for, that the, the banks should be refloated directly by the ESM. Well, I say, let's put an end to this uh, saving of banks of right, left and centre. I think that's just going to drag us further and further into the crisis and we're not going to s solve anything. We should stop trying to save dead banks. We should be sending them to bankruptcy where they belong. Thank you very much indeed. Mr. Stadler, for two minutes, Mr. Nitras. Thank you, Mr. President. The regulation on transferring to the European Central Bank special supervisory powers constitutes a whole new quality in banking supervision. For the first time in history, Europe's most important banks will be supervised.